Hey everyone, this is Shelby with Intoxicating Beauty. I am here today with a blow dry video. We are going to start off with um, our products that we're going to be putting in our hair today. This is um, our Kevin Murphy Bodybuilder. This is a travel size. We have this at our salon hairport salon as well that you can go ahead and grab today if you're interested. So I'm going to go ahead and apply it right around my crown area and then massage it into my scalp. Make sure it's all rubbed in so there's no excess product. And you don't have to just rub it in one area, you can literally just do that too and rub it in as well. The great thing about Body Builder is that you can never have too much of it. It works really well and it doesn't feel heavy in your hair either. It doesn't weigh it down. Also, my hair is not necessarily damaged, but it's very, very blonde. So to get to that blonde, there's a lot of, you know, highlighting and bleaching in that process. So I'm going to go ahead and use the leave-in repair from Kevin Murphy as well. About that much is fine. Rub it in like lotion, emulsify it in your hands, and disperse it throughout your hair. The reason why you want to rub it in before you put it all through your hair is so you don't get too much in one area that's going to make it greasy and you're going to want to wash your hair again. It's just going to feel horrible. So you definitely want to rub it in first before just apply it on your hair. Also, last but not least, we're going to go ahead and use Young again. Um, this has healing properties in it. Also, it acts as a heat protectant and it's treatment. So. Honestly, if you could get anything out of Kevin Murphy's product line, it is the Young Again Oil. Uh, my hair has never felt healthier, and every time I blow dry my hair, I never want to feel like I have anything in it. I want it to feel weightless, and when I rub my hands through it, I want to feel like there's nothing in there. So, um, Young Again Oil is very good for that. It is weightless treatment, healing, everything you could want in a product. So, like I said, that we sell this at Hairport for, I think, 40, 40 some, $44. And if you can get it, I would. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and start with a, a rough dry of my hair first. And then you'll see in the video, I'll do some voiceovering and you can hear me talk about what I'm doing as I'm blow drying, okay? Thank you. Hey guys, so the rough dry is over. Uh, you can see that my hair is about 80% dry. There's still some moisture in there and you want to have a little bit left so you can manipulate the hair and where you want it to go, okay? So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and section my hair on what I'm not going to blow dry. That way it's out of my face, out of my way. I have a lot of hair, so I need to keep it, what I'm not working on, out of my face and away from the area that I am working on. So I'm gonna go ahead and clip it up. You're gonna want butterfly clips, sectioning clips, whatever you can use to get your hair out of the way, okay? Go ahead and put this up. And the tools, you're only as good as your products and your tools. Always say that, never forget it, okay? So you're gonna want a um, brown brush. This is going to help you um, smooth out your hair and give it direction. And I know I, ha I even have clients today that are like, oh, I can never use a round brush because it's tangled in my hair. I'm like, don't worry, anybody can do it. Anybody can do it. So all you have to do, it's not about, you know, twisting it up or anything like that. Don't get caught up in that. You're going to confuse yourself even more. All you have to do is get it anchored in at the root. See? See how it's anchored in there? So it's anchored in. You're going to have your dryer and the nozzle is what's going to help you. This right here definitely is what helps to smooth your hair. It gives the air direction. For when you're blow drying that way you can smooth it out better okay that's the whole purpose of the nozzle it's not to make it look pretty it has a purpose okay 
So when you have the dryer on, you're going to smooth it out and go down with it. See? It already like brushes it out kind of smooth and the air is not even off. I mean, so you just have to really make sure that's how you're using your tools. It's how you use your tools is going to make all the difference. So I'm going to go ahead and blow dry with this section and I'll show you how it looks after, okay? Anyway, everybody the first section is done so you can see my hair is, has a lot of shine to it and it is flatter there's still volume in there see how like it kind of curves out and everything so and you'll see at the end I have naturally a lot of volume but the bodybuilder does help enhance that so it my volume lasts until my next wash so you may have a great first day with your natural volume, but that doesn't mean it'll last the three to four days, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead, blow dry a couple more sections, and I'll show you the finished product, and we'll talk about um, more techniques, questions about blow dryers, what are the best ones, how do you know what are the best ones, and yeah, we'll talk about it after.
Alright everyone, this is the finished product. This is our end of our blow dry session. So, what do I always do? I always finish off with great styling products as usual. So we're going to use Kevin Murphy Shimmer Shine. This works great on any hair. Um, I love it for my blonde. It just makes it that much shinier. And you don't even need a little bit, so you just kind of let it twirl, let the shimmer disperse throughout the hair. Sometimes I wear it just for perfume. It smells so good. And we are also going to finish off with a little bit of hairspray. This is a medium hold. I think I've shown this before. This is our Society hairspray. It's by Kuhn. We also have this at Hairport. This is, again, a travel size. And, again, love travel sizes. Helps you to learn about the product without a full commitment. And I've said this before, but I will say it again in my other video. This is um, a no residue hairspray. It does not leave any product buildup in the hair. So it's great for people with darker hair, black, dark brown kind of hair. That way, because you could see residue way easier on their, be, on their hair because obviously residue is more of like a white flakier type of buildup, almost mimics dandruff, but it's not. It's within the hair and it also kind of feels like waxy a little bit. So you just gotta be careful. But this hairspray does not do that. That's why it's the best. Kuhn Society Hairspray. All right, you guys. We're also gonna take a second and talk about um, the blow dryer that I used today. Um, this is a Babyliss. Um, Ferrari hair dryer. Um, it is one of the best on the market. I can't say enough about this dryer. It has cut my blow dry time literally in half. Um, it used to take me a little over a half hour to blow dry and style my hair the way I want it. And with the amount of hair that I have, it just, it was a lot of time. This 15, it's less than 20 minutes. And to me, that is a lot of time. That is a lot of time saved that I could be doing anything else on my day off. And for a hairstylist, that's a lot. So also, um, the brush that I used today, um, you can get this at Hairport, anywhere else too. This is a medium brush for your blow drying needs. Um, I use this size mainly because um, I don't I still want volume, and the reason for that is because of how the size of my brush. If you get a bigger round brush, it's going to flatten your hair and take all the volume out of it. The smaller the brush, the more volume you'll have. So that's why you want to use more of like a medium brush. And then if I used, you know, one smaller than this, I would be here all day blow drying my hair because I still need the width of the brush as well. All right, you guys, if you have any questions or comments below, please, please leave me some. I'd love to reach out to you and talk more about the products that I used today and the dryer that I used today. Any questions that you guys have as far as timing and, you know, what products to use, why? Um, let me know what you're using. What are your favorite products? What's your favorite routine? I want to know. Thank you so much. You guys have a wonderful week. And subscribe. Comment below. See you guys soon.